rattling off some jokes. You having a good time so far? Yay! Yay! I was watching TV today. I watched a show called I'm Locked Up Abroad. Yeah, who hasn't done that? I saw a show about a guy got, it was a documentary, a guy got stabbed in the heart and he lived and everything was fine and they interviewed him and in the interview he said, um, I am the luckiest man in the world, that's what he said. And um, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, what about all of us people who never got stabbed in the fucking heart? <laughs> Lucky. Hey, how come Pete gets to get stabbed in the heart? This is bullshit. Crocodile Hunter, I, I saw a show about him. He died. You know, it was weird when he died, everybody said it was a freak accident. It wasn't a freak accident. It was a horrible accident, but it wasn't a freak accident. We have to save those words or they're not gonna, they're gonna lose their meaning. Here's my definition of a freak accident. A freak accident is when you're taking a shower and you get hit by a train. <laughs> that's a freak accident. Swimming with stingrays and getting stung, that's an accident. And he did, he got stabbed right in the heart. Lucky. See, that doesn't even, that doesn't even sound right, does it? That doesn't even sound right. Can you imagine, that actually happened. The guy was taking a shower. Can you imagine that? It's like, la, 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 la. Sounds close today. <laughs> Sounds like it's right in the next bam. <laughs> okay, new rule. I think in order to qualify for woman of the year, you have to at least have been a woman for the entire year. <laughs> the shit. That's good, right? The shit? You got, yeah, you got to be careful because the shits, that's bad. That's just one more letter, you know, and, and it's an S. Normally you put an S on something, it doesn't make it worse. It makes it better, like a year blowjob, but you do it to shit. It's bad. I don't know why. I'm not sure. Words are crazy. How come some things burn up? Other things burn down. That makes no sense. It's like, hey, mom, where's all those old pictures of grandma? Oh, they all burned up when the house burned down. Yeah. And chop is the same thing. Some things you chop up, some things you chop down. Like a tree, you have to chop it down before you chop it up. <laughs> How come when your alarm goes off, you have to turn it off? <laughs> the other day I had to take my pants in to have them taken out. <laughs> I wrote a couple new ones. So, how come when the sun is out, it's light, but when the light is out, it's dark? <laughs> Some words mean the opposite, like left. For instance, that word left, it's like, we had six puppies, but three left. So we have three left. <laughs> That's no sense. I've been eating a lot of asparagus lately, and my pee smells funny. Is that, is that normal? Smelling your pee? <laughs> My urologist has a sign in his office that says word number one. Okay, you'll get these in a second. When the New Jersey Nets moved to Brooklyn, they had to get new jerseys. In my day, a selfie was something you did in the bathroom with the door locked. And don't get me started on a selfie stick. My, gosh, my wife has a selfie stick in the nightstand. We had to get our cat neutered. We have a cat. How do you explain that to a cat? Okay, we're going to take your testicles. That's all. We came up with a plan to make him feel better. What we did a couple weeks before we actually did it, every time he walked by, we would flick him really hard on the testicles. That way, when he finally did it, he was pretty glad to get rid of it. I was 
in Boston. They talk funny in Boston. I, I worked with a guy from Boston one time. He was late for work. He said, how come you were late? He said, I had a cock rash. He said, what? He said, I had a cock rash. He said, you had a cock rash? He said, yeah, really bad. Really bad cock rash. It took us 20 minutes to figure out he was in an automobile accident. A cock rash. You said top trash. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Oh, by the way, I have a DVD. I normally sell these for 20 bucks. I'm going to sell them for 10 bucks tonight. I got a few of them after the show, and a, and a bunch of the proceeds are going to go to tonight's um, tonight's charity. So, um, so come out and get those if you want. And, um, what else am I talking? And I need the money. My wife is saving up to put me through hell. And uh, uh, we've been together 20 years. I haven't even looked at another woman. I am that discouraged. So, uh, I'll tell you a story about my wife. We were walking in the mall by this rack of pants. And she said, hang on a minute. I go, what? She goes, I want to get these pants. And I go, what are they? She goes, they're yoga pants. And I go, well, you don't do yoga. She goes, I know, but they're cool. I said, yeah, but you don't do yoga. She goes, well, I'm getting them. I said, well, I don't care what you get. But you know what? While we're here, why don't we get some cooking pants? <laughs> or some do the dishes pants. As long as you're stocking up on uniforms for sports you never play. Why don't we get some kayak pants and some backgammon pants? You, you should see if they got some blowjob pants laying around. Pick up a six pack of those. Well, it's almost time for me to get off, and I don't want to do it up here in front of everybody. I'm going to go, I'm going to go back here and take a selfie. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I got a kid now. Well, well, well at least until his parents come up with the ransom money. But I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, I haven't even told his parents yet. Uh, we don't have any kids. We're not going to have any kids, me and my wife. My wife wants me to get a vasectomy. She, well, she hasn't actually come right out and said it. It's just that lately, every time I walk by her, she's been flicking me really hard <laughs> on her testicles. Okay, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks for supporting it. See you guys, you are. Get you guy, everybody.